Now to another politically explosive issue. The children separated from their parents at the border this morning. The six-year-old girl whose cries ignited outrage. She's now been reunited, as you can see, with her mom. And the reunion happens as a California judge decides the fates of other families who've also been separated. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is in Los Angeles covering all of the developments for us this morning. Hi there, Marcy. Hi, Paul and Dan. Good morning. That judge ordered families be given at least 12 hours notice that these reunions are finally happening after many parents, including the mother you're about to see, got approval and details at the last minute, having to scramble to be there for these long awaited moments. This six year old girl whose voice for many sounded the alarm on the issue of migrant families separated at the border now hand in hand with her mother again. Allison Jimena Valencia Madrid heard in this recording first obtained by ProPublica. <laughs> reunited with her mom in Houston after a month of being held in detention centers hundreds of miles apart. <laughs> describing how much she missed her. Cindy Madrid saying she came to the U.S. to escape violence in El Salvador, now focused on her asylum fight and encouraging other parents separated from their children. Yeni Gonzalez Garcia from Guatemala traveling from Arizona to New York to be reunited with her three kids. And in Detroit, this father back with his three-year-old after being apart for three and a half months. These and other emotional moments like this one caught on CNN, coming after a court order deadline requiring that children younger than five separated under the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy be reunited with their parents. Officials saying 57 of the 103 kids are now back with their families, but the other 46 were deemed ineligible. This morning, the ACLU says there are still thousands of older children separated from their parents. We want all these children who are eligible for reunification and we think it may be as many as 3,000 of the five and above to be reunified by July 26. And a federal judge here in California now ordering the government to pay for travel and other costs of bringing those families back together. Dan and Paula. It is good to see those reunions. Marcy, thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.